Okay, so this is the second portion of case number two, because like I put in the description for for portion one, the um, video feed got uh, interrupted. And so I'm going to pick up right where we left off, I think. Well, actually, I'll, just to be safe, I'm going to, since I'm, I don't recall if I showed this title yet or not, we have The Boy Next Door with a space for a Blu-ray, and then we have Brave on DVD twice from D Disney Pixar, and then we have the Blu-ray with a Blu-ray special features disc, which came in a Blu-ray DVD combo, and then I got a standalone DVD. Um, and then I have um, 1995 Braveheart. Um, been a long time since I watched that, so I don't really remember much about it, um, other than it being fairly brutal. Um, I have two spaces saved for triple formatting. Then we have The Adventures of Brayer Rabbit. And uh, Breakthrough. This video is going to be a bit shorter because we only have a few pages left to do. Um, I have a space for a Blu-ray for Breakthrough and a space for a DVD of Brick Masons with Paul Walker on the disc there. Then we have Bride Wars with a space for a, a Blu-ray. Bridge to Terabithia, I have two copies of with a space for a Blu-ray. Then we have Bridget Jones's Diary right here. Then we have Bringing Up Baby. Uh, Bruce Almighty. Dune Factory Bugs Bunny Bugs Bond Rally. Must have came out during World War II. A Bugs Life on DVD, which I have two DVDs of. One is a DVD, or they're both DVD collector's edition, but one is a two disc version, and the other is a Blu ray DVD combo. So the, DVD, the second DVD looks the same. Here's the Blu ray. Um, then I have a space for the theatrical R-rated version of, Scott, of Stop Bullying. That's what the skip logo on this means, Stop Bullying. Which, that would be great, wouldn't it? And then I have a space for a Blu-ray and a 4K of it as well. And then we have Burn Notice, uh, the complete series, but... Uh, that's what the discs for season one look, er, look like. Actually, I just noticed they have different designs on each disc, so I'll show all the discs. Season one, disc two. Season one, disc three. Season one, disc four. Season two, disc one. Season two, disc two. And season two, disc four. That was season two, disc three. The previous one with Bruce Campbell on it. And then we have season three, disc one. Season three, disc two. Season three, disc three. Season 3, Disc 4. And we have Season 4, Disc 1. Season 4, Disc 2. Season 4, Disc 3.
season four, disc four. Season five, disc one. Season five, disc two. Season five, disc three. Season five, disc four, right here. Then we have season five, discs, or season six, disc one, my bad. Season six, disc two. That girl look on that the girl on that disc looks familiar, but I don't know what her name is. And then we have season six, disc three. Season six, disc four. And, and season seven, disc one. This is the last season. Season seven, disc two. Season seven, disc three. Season seven, disc four. And then moving on, we have Burn the Ships. No idea what it's about other than baseball, apparently. Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. Um, yeah. And then we have the theatrical and director's cut of um, The Butterfly Effect 1. I have this disc on the side of the director's cut because I do have a, a two feature disc that has Butterfly Effect 1 and 2, both theatrical. Um, so I have a space for a Blu ray of, of the director's cut and a combined space for a Blu ray for the first two, like they're on, like they are on the DVD here, like that. And then I have. Butterfly Effect 3, Revelations, um, part of the After Dark Horror Fest 3, Eight Films to Die For collection here. And then we have Buzz Lightyear Star Command, The Adventure Begins. I really wish Disney would release this, the whole series and put this and the series on Disney+. Plus as well as DVD, obviously, because it is a great, great Buzz Lightyear series. Super great. Then we have Lightyear. Less great, but still pretty good. And that one I have spaces for triple formatting for. So I want to try and get the 4K Steelbook. Then we have Cabin Fever with a space for a Blu-ray. A space for a DVD of Cabin in the Woods, which I have a Blu-ray of, obviously. Um, then I have two spaces for Candyman 1 and Candyman 2, on both on Blu-ray DVD combos. And then a space for, the D, for a DVD of Candyman Day of the Dead, because I have a Blu-ray of it right here. Um... I think this is a Screen Factory version. No. Doesn't look like it. Okay. And then we have Calendar Girls. And the last movie in this case, like, because I, I did say this was going to be a shorter one, is Called to Serve. Right here. And that is it for case number two currently. Of course, this will change, or that'll change when I do my next sorting session because I recently got a, a movie called Anger Management, which would, would move everything in this case that way, one space, or, and boot this one out, or boot call to serve out of this case. But yeah, that is case number two. For my collection, uh, in this 
of course, be portion two because the um, the camera's wait time elapsed and uh, it shut down after saving the first portion of this video. Um, but yeah, we just went through this. Um, yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next video. I'm not sure when exactly I'm going to make the next video, but I'm going to try and do so today because I wanted to try and get through cases three and four today as in addition to, and I wanted to do case two last night, but it didn't work out. Um, so that's fine. Anyway, that that is it for this video and I will catch you guys in the next one.